it's made out of lace case you couldn't tell it takes me a while to get going when I do I get better and I wish you'd stuck I think I need to, uh uh, just to, uh, I don't know what that sound was. It was a piano. This is a piano. <laughs> we have, uh, how many different? 99. Pretend I'm at the ocean. Temporarily feel like you're at the beach. Mm. I, I I wanted to do a, a different one. Oh, I like that. That's fun. You'll hear that though. I think it's too quiet though. stuff that's really sad, but there's this sweetness to it. I've been depressed my whole life. I don't think that's a problem. And I'm not sad about it anymore. I'm fine with the fact that I see things more clearly than the majority of people around me. Consider that, consider that, consider that, consider that. Maybe the reason why you're sad, the reason why you get so angry, you get so angry. It's not supposed to be good, okay? Life is good, life is good. You gotta make it good. You can't expect other people to do it for you. That's why God made you to figure your shit out. Stop blaming someone else. Oh my God, you're insecure.
wish I had known that when I was younger. But if I had, I probably would have made different decisions. And maybe I'd be a lot farther than just performing at shitty dive bars and weed bars and LGBT love and coffee shops. Well, I wish. Sometimes I'd take it more seriously, but that's so not like me. Stuff that people say I should be so serious about, I ain't serious about. Stuff that people say I should be more laid back about, I ain't laid back about. And I think that's fine, I think that's fine because I set my boundaries. Yeah, I draw my lines any better not cross it. Any better not cross it. I'll turn into a block of ice and make you think way more than twice. Anytime you ever think that it's alright to just cross somebody's line. There's gotta be, uh, what is this? <laughs> no, 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 Something else. <laughs> All these sounds are really cool, though. They are. I gotta... I have to move Tupac. Because Tupac has been on this keyboard for so long. Okay. Trying to find this one. This one's nice. It's called Raindrop. Yeah, you definitely need to explore this option. I don't know why you only play the way that you play when you have all these different sounds that you can choose from. music box. Let's see what else. I'm looking for sine wave. I can't find sine wave. That's one of my favorite ones. Oh, uh, here it is. Yeah, like I said, really, really sweet, but like dark and sad and like, it's like death, you know? I want my music to be like death. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, th there's this bittersweetness of death, though, that a lot of people don't want to admit is there because they they just want to be sad about it or they want to be afraid about it. They they're afraid of it or they're just really sad about it. It is something to be sad about, but if you really believe in God, I mean, I just don't get super sad when people die because I, I think that death is amazing and like it's way better than this and so and that doesn't mean I don't appreciate things or that you know I don't I don't I don't want to live my life to the fullest I don't want to do what I possibly can I'm not suicidal okay anybody that says that it is lying. Okay. I know what psychosis is. So I know that I'm not in it. And many people, they would strongly suggest that anybody asking too many questions well that person there's a reason
reason to be suspicious. Well, that person, there's reason to uh, uh, not hire him or not trust him for any reason. sort of rhythm that you have. Um, it reminds me of like picking, you know how like certain guitar players, like one of my favorite guitar players, like she picks and she's amazing. Um, but there's a distinct sound to it that's kind of annoying, but I feel like that's what I'm doing with keys. You can hear that too. You know, shuffling your feet when you walk. I can always tell who a person is based on the way that they walk. If I see them from far away, like if they're all the way across a parking lot, I still know who the fuck they are based on their trot. easily. There ain't nothing to it. But when we get on stage, it's a different story. It's a different story. It's a different story. What can I tell my story? I do that everywhere else. Everywhere else. Everywhere else. our reluctance, okay? We went because of Ronit. So. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, so if, if I'm in Nashville more, it's because of her. So, yeah. The Jew is working. Alright? <laughs> She's getting me out. Mainly because I pick her ass up. So she doesn't have to drive. She's an even scarier driver than me. Imagine that. A 54-year-old Jewish bitch. And a really scary driver. She got into a car accident recently. She fucked with her hand. Because she's like driving up a one-way or some shit. <laughs> and all these cars. She blamed like her GPS and then she blamed the street like she said that there were no lights on the street on the party. Are you blaming somebody else? You know it was you. I don't know. I wasn't there. But 
I can only assume based off of her driving. <laughs> I mean, we do, but we don't. It's not like a mean judgment. Like any time that I say something, let's, let's talk about this. Anytime I talk, anytime I, I tell somebody something, they find it hard to hear. They think I'm being judgmental, and I'm like, no, dude. Like, only God can judge you. And so, it's the Holy Spirit that's convicting, and they feel that. And it's like my, my, my friends who are like, you know, more liberal or whatever. It's like, they're just, uh, like they say things that are just so uncalled for in relation to my religion because they feel threatened by, I mean, I guess my religion is somewhat of a threat towards like homosexuality, and feminism and all that. But. Um, but it's like, I don't know. I'm not mean to anybody. Like, I'm really not, so I don't know. What do they act like? Just saying words, just like stating an opinion that's like obviously true. You know, they wouldn't get so mad. They don't get mad about bad opinions. They don't get mad about wrong opinions. Um, they're only mad when you are totally real. So if you're phony and fake and you pretend that you're this or that, they love it. So, it's like the surface level thing that I keep talking about. Like, if all you pay attention to is the surface, of course you're going to get fooled. You know? Because you're easy to fool. this keyboard in particular. Yeah, we're gonna do an actual show at that uh, weed bar. The Holistic Connection. Um, so if you're out in the Nashville area, it's in Bell Mead. Um, I should probably find out the actual address, but White Bridge Road. It's close to White Bridge Road. It's, it's, uh, I thought it was West End. I don't know. I could, I don't know. Uh, we, we will figure it out and put up the information in future video. Um, I need to go to sleep. But, um, yeah, I'm excited about it. It'll be a fun show. There'll be people on it. I'm trying to do that, like, every month, too, so it won't just be, like, a one-time thing. So if people are interested and they want to come, they can come. And they can get an amazing contact high from government weed. Um, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I've had government weed, and, I mean... Like with the Delta Eight and the the Delta Nine is just THC. Like that's that's all it is. Um, I still don't know how they got away with that though. That's crazy. Like with Delta Eight, I can understand because that's like they've extracted that from the CBD, so they can cleverly disguise it behind the hemp plant, um, but, uh, Delta 9 is, like, just straight up THC, man, and then you have THCA, THCA and THCO that, like, have even more, like, trippy effects to them. So, it's, like, that's cool that they've, like, figured all this out with weed, but I just, like, wonder, like, what they're really doing to it, man. 
because it's, and I'm not just talking about the strength of it, but it's just like, what's the purpose of all this? Is it just to mess people up? Is it so they can get more people in psychiatric hospitals? Because if you're in a state of psychosis because of marijuana, which is common now, because of how strong it is, if you're in a state of psychosis and um, you go to the emergency room because you're like freaking out or whatever, which is stupid, why would you do that? But a lot of people do that because they're stupid and they go and no, they're just fucking stupid. Like not naive, fucking stupid. So don't even correct me, okay? Um, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, we have this kind of relationship with ourselves. It's pretty beautiful, isn't it? Don't you wish you had something like that? <sighs> anyway. You always say you're gonna go. Just keep talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is like a good laugh reel right now. It's like, I cry a lot, but it's like, whatever, man. I don't know why people whine about shit like that. It's like they're whining about pooping or something. It's like, yeah, it's part of life, man. You just have to deal with it. But, there are a lot of people, though, that they're very uncomfortable if you talk about anything like that. Crying, pooping, masturbating. I have a theory that the reason why pornography is so popular is because people can't even talk about just touching yourself in a normal ass way, you know, like without having to look at these pornographic visuals that typically involve something that's not even consensual, this, it's just a crime against humanity on so many levels, and the fact that we're doing this to ourselves willingly, and there, there isn't enough uh, pushback against things like that. Well, let's face it, there's not pushback against a lot of things, like, you know, anything that's totally degrading and, you know, terrible on so many levels. Yeah. Whatever pushback there is, is probably being, um, shrouded, because they don't want people to know that... Uh, what do they call it? Like the silent majority or whatever. The problem is all they do is go online, dude. So silent or not, what the fuck does it matter? Like, people are just like useless now. It's like the most exciting thing that Republicans have done was like storm the Capitol. Like, what does that tell you? <laughs> That's so true. Oh my goodness, that's so true. Ugh. That was like the truest statement in like the past hundred years. That's the truest statement that's been made. The most exciting thing Republicans have done is storm the Capitol. Yes. And what's so funny is that leftists had such an issue with that. Why? You guys love burning shit to the ground and, like, starting trouble all the time, so why are you mad that Republicans try to do that shit, too? Like, they didn't even burn anything. They should have, but they didn't. <laughs> anyway. You know, I was gonna send a tweet, because I, I, I'm not on Twitter, but I was gonna get on Twitter all for the purpose of, like, tweeting Nick Fuentes and telling him not to go, but I knew that he was gonna go because, you know, his little heart set on Trump, so, uh, I figured the kid wouldn't listen to me anyway, so, never joined Twitter, thank you, Lord, <laughs> but I would have, because that's how much I like that kid, but... Yeah, man. There's so many people that got in trouble for that. And it's just so ridiculous. But it just proves that... Like, they're out to get people that aren't terrible. 
Like, just to let you know, if you're not a terrible person, they hate you, okay? <laughs> like, because if you're terrible, then that means that they'll, they'll get you to work for them in some form or fashion, you know? Whether you're working for the government, or you're working for the media, or you're just like one of these fucking retards online that's just essentially working for the government or the media, you know? And they don't even have to pay you, you're just a fucking sheep. Like, think about it like that, man. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about like just how easy it is for them to get away with all this shit because the masses are so stupid man and yeah many of them are stupid or naive they, they are naive they're all naive some of them in fact most of them are probably very very stupid as well but yeah the naivety you know I I feel for that the stupid aspect where you know they're just going out of their way to prove that they don't care about anything that they claim they care about. So maybe that's not stupid. It's not the right word. It's just like, is delusional even the right word? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, they definitely are in a state of psychosis if they, they think that they can just, like, make statements and then, like, not live up to any of them, not do any research, not read, not, like, really pay attention to anything. And then, like, they're still right and they still have the moral high ground and all that. Like, that's so crazy. But... I'm the conspiracy theorist, though, so y'all can just keep calling me crazy, even though it's obvious that we're right. And we've been right. We've been right since 1991. That's the same year the internet came out. And, uh, <laughs> the Cold War supposedly ended, like, a month before the internet came out. <laughs> Isn't that so fucking funny? Yours truly is on it. Okay. <laughs> I was on that case and I was six years old. Right? Oh my head. I hate you, 5G. I hate you so much. I tried so hard to avoid all this crap, but they still insisted. You know that stupid bullshit from Hillary Clinton, that like campaign that she did that was like, nevertheless, she persisted. <laughs> Isn't that so true of like every fucking bitch you've ever met in your life? And by bitch, I do specifically mean woman, okay? Every woman you've ever met is like so persistent about the dumbest shit. That's so fucking true. So maybe Hillary Clinton is like just a real woman, you know? She is what women are. <laughs> totally. And she rips kids' faces off. Like, yeah, that that's something a lot of women do. In some form or fashion. But anyway. Yeah. So, if there was some sort of uh, tagline about my life, like if my life were a movie... And there's a tagline, it would be, nevertheless, she resisted. <laughs> because if there was a tagline for the life movie of the world, like if the world was a movie, it would be called, a, that, that tagline would be, uh, nevertheless, we insisted, okay? So, yeah. The elite insists that you do things, and then you're sheep, so you just go along with it. Well, I didn't go along with it, because I'm better. I am superior. But that's because God made me that way. To just be different. That's what I mean by superior. I don't mean, like... I mean, we're different, you know? I, we just make different choices. But yeah, I have... I just higher consciousness than most people, which is why my decisions go along with that consciousness, okay? But yeah, I am better because of my resilience. How about that? 
no other reason. But that was given to me by God, so there's no reason for me to gloat or anything. And I really want to just help people. So if I come across this cunt, my bad. I don't mean to. I mean, I really don't mean to. I just am just some kind of cunt. But like, a little sweet though, sweet enough. Fine until you piss me off, and then I'm that black ice that I talked about. Uh, yeah, just leave me alone when I tell you to. Um, which is gonna be most of the time. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone now because I'm gonna go.